Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Chuck's the Cooking. And well today, while well, I said in my previous video that I was going to be making a rhubarb pie, well this video is not going to be strictly about making a rhubarb pie. I went about and made the rhubarb pie, but I also incorporated into that video how to make my whole or my wheat pie crust. And when I went to editing, it turns out that it's going to be too long. I don't want to give you a half hour long single video. So I decided I need to break it up into two separate videos. So this is going to be the first part, which is the making of the whole wheat pie crust. Now I've got this video made previously several, a couple years ago actually. And if you want to take a look at it, you can find it up here. And I think if, in that, if I recall in that video, I used my hand mixer. Well, in this video, I'm going to use my food processor. And I think you can see that it's going to be really easy to go about making this pie crust with a food processor. If you don't have one, don't fear. If you got a hand mixer, by all means, use it. And if you really feel energetic, you can do this by hand. People were making pie crust long before there was mixers, or certainly before food processors. So, let's get turned around and let's see where we're going with this. Okay, so I'm going to start out with my dry ingredients here. And the first thing I've got is I've got two teaspoons, those would be the little ones, of sugar and a half teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to mix that into my flour here. And this is one and a quarter cups of whole wheat flour and one and a quarter cups of all purpose flour. And I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to just give it a quick little whisk here. We're going to go ahead and put that into our food processor here. And try not to get flour everywhere. Now, we need one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Those will be the small ones. We need one and a half sticks of butter cut into small pieces. Basically, I usually just kind of quarter it down the middle on each side here. And then just kind of chunk it up from there. Our food processor is going to do a lot of this for us too. another whole stick to do here yet. Everything needs to be as cold as you can get it. I'll put a link to or I'll put a copy of my recipe on my Facebook page there and I'll leave a link to that down below here in the show comments. You can absolutely do this by hand. Just a lot more work involved. Or with a hand mixer. Now we need four tablespoons, that'd be the big ones, of shortening. I suppose lard would work as well. There's one. Again, with the lard too. Cool as possible. Mm -hmm. 
Gotta move all this stuff out of the way. All I need left now, left, all I need left now is my ice water. I'll pulse this a little bit. I need to put a little bit of that ice water in here because it's kind of throwing dust everywhere here. I found with the use of this whole wheat flour, it works better if the longer you can let it sit. I think that was five there that I put in so far. But the longer you can let it sit before you actually use it, this whole wheat flour seems to want to absorb a lot of moisture. I've had almost, almost messed up there. And I've had to actually add a little more moisture, a little more water, ice water, right when I go to um, actually use it. Definitely not getting any more flour dust coming up out of the, from around the seal of the lid. I don't know if you can see this, but Hopefully you can. We're beginning to get to where we're getting some like almost crumbles in here. Here in just a minute I'll open it up and I will maybe that's about seven. We've still got some dry flour in here, but we're beginning to get to where we can hold a dough. Um, there you go. Can you see that? I think maybe just a little bit more. I want to take my spatula here and kind of make sure I get all the dry away from the edges because I, I think I got just a little bit of dry left in here from appearances but we're starting to look real good here Maybe you're counting how many of these I put in. And it's going to be totally subjective to your particular flower and everything else. See, turn that a little bit there. We're getting a nice dough ball here. I think that's what we want.
yeah, I think this is going to work right here. Hopefully you can see that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to put it in some plastic for just a little bit for probably two hours. And we're going to stick it in the refrigerator, get it good and cold. Blade out of there. Doesn't matter if it pulls it out. It's all going on there anyhow. Now this should be enough for two crusts. Yeah. A little bit of butter or something. Right there around the stem in the, I don't know what you want to call it here, the bowl. Anyway, so we're going to kind of ball this up. We'll cover it in the plastic. Stick it in the fridge for a little bit. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and take and use my pastry cutter here, dough knife, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to cut that in half. I'm just going to make two balls here. I've also found that if I get this too cold, then it almost becomes unworkable. So I may not go a total of two hours, but I'm going to leave it in there for a good hour anyhow. Alright folks, well there you go. I think you saw it wasn't too, too difficult making this wheat pie crust. In fact, I found it very easy. However, when I started making that video, I thought it took a lot less time than it really did. It took about 20 minutes or so to actually make the pie crust and you know in my terms that's when you're doing barbecue and stuff 20 minutes is a short period of time but when you're making a video sometimes time gets away from you and things actually take a little bit longer than what you think they do in your mind i think that makes sense because you're busy and when you're busy time flies all right folks so stay tuned for part two where we actually make the filling and make the pie. Folks, and do me a favor, down here in the bottom right hand corner, if you like what you're seeing, hit like and subscribe, and stay tuned. There's always more to come, and thanks for watching.